Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Melvin. Today I'm going to talk to you both the Nike Air, Fear of God, Ray, and the Moccasin. serious quality issues on my pair of rates which I will talk about it later in the video but very quickly let's get on to the moccasin in the pure platinum colorway uh, which belongs to my wife Irene I did not cut myself a pair because uh, this kind of feels too feminine to me uh, even though it is a men's shoe right the moccasin the entire upper is this ripstop nylon I'm not sure if it's stated uh, anywhere on the website but the weaving seems to indicate so. Speaking of weaving, you will notice at first the patterns at the front end of the shoe differs from the lateral and medial side. It is very subtle but I truly appreciate this tiny detail. The velcro strap in my opinion is strictly for aesthetic purpose because you wouldn't want to over fasten it uh, otherwise you, you know you sort of leave this hanging out. I don't think this is a very good look. And according to Irene, this shoe is pretty narrow, especially at the midsection of the shoe to begin with. So technically, the strap has no function. What it does, however, and very importantly, I must say, it accentuates the overall shoe design as well as branding. Because the black swoosh over platinum simply pops. So the only way to fasten the shoe is this drawstring at the back, uh, which wraps around your ankle. Inside the shoe, the drawstrings are lined with padding to minimize discomfort. I do not know how effective they are, but my wife had no complaints about the shoe, so that is a good thing. And to further secure the foot, you have this magnetic button on the lateral side of the shoe. First, I thought it might look cool if you leave the button exposed like this when you wear them. Turns out, according to Irene, you need them fastened. Otherwise, you have too much free play, which uh, makes it difficult you know, to, to walk. After all, if you haven't noticed, the ankle collar is indeed very roomy. Lastly, you have this double stack icy blue air unit, similar to the Fear of God one and the Raid, which I'm about to review shortly. I read on websites that this air unit is a game changer or something. Not quite feeling it. Maybe I am spoiled by Boost technology, which, you know, by Adidas. Or perhaps the air unit is incredibly good for basketball. But then again, you wouldn't play ball in this pair of moccasin. So as far as shock absorption is concerned, this doesn't offer much when it comes to you know normal walking. Uh, so little or zero functionality, but I give 10 over 10 stars for its cool factor. It is a dope shoe overall. So enough of the moccasins, uh, let's talk about my shoe, the Nike Air Fear of God Raid in the light bone colorway. This was inspired by the original Nike Air Raid, uh, which sports these iconic crisscrossing straps. And the Raid doesn't feel like a rip-off at all because it appears that it's, it has been designed from scratch. I love how the mix of materials is seamless in terms of color consistency. You wouldn't notice the shoe is made up of several materials including tumble leather, textile material and suede on the toe box until you, you kind of see it up close. And that is pretty awesome. Now for the things that are not so pretty. Let us begin with the most minor one which is excess glue. When the shoe first arrived, um, the edges of the collar were a bit sticky. Bits of fabric from my socks did get caught when trying the shoes on, uh, but they were easily removed, you know, like by pinching. Figured it might lose its adhesiveness over time anyway, so that's okay. What I could not accept was a couple of glue stains on the suede toe box. I'm not sure if it's visible on camera, but it is there. I tried to remove it by using a new bug eraser with some success but I think I need a couple more sessions of cleaning to really get rid of them entirely. Next and this is going to shock you guys, the stitching on the FOG rate is horrendous. Notice the difference in spacing with the right and left shoe and the inconsistency goes all the way to the toe box where the left shoe which is on the right of your screen is entirely off the scale. It even has like a slight bump. Uh, very noticeable when you actually see it on hand. I do not believe that these are hand stitched, so why the inconsistency, I don't understand. And guys, the following is the worst of all in my opinion, is that the outsole at the front end isn't entirely glued to the shoe. 
apparently there is a gap a very concerning gap dear nike i know the fog rate is half the price of the fog one which you know got released last year but at 190 which is 240 singapore dollars this isn't a cheap shoe either so i would expect exceptional quality on this pair of shoes the price i'm paying for i believe this is all on nike i don't think that jerry lorenzo or, or his company would be the one managing the quality control of the manufacturers but to be fair nike did reply to me and very professional and prompt if i may add within 24 hours after writing to them about the problems that came with the shoe they don't do replacements but as with most nike products it comes with a 30-day trial where you the consumer can return a product even after use no questions asked thing is i don't need a refund what i want is a replacement and unfortunately these are sold out i don't know guys i'm really on the fence here as much as i you know i'm allowed to return the shoe i really want to keep it because this is so fire I'm not sure if I'm fooling myself thinking that I can live with the defects um, but honestly the glue stains are fine the, the off stitching makes it unique the only concern of course is the unfinished bonding of the sole to the shoe hit the comment down below on your thoughts tell me what would you do and for those who managed to cop a pair congratulations but please share your experience with your pair of shoes I hope uh, you don't suffer the same quality issues as mine. I hope that mine is a very, very isolated case. I mean, I do understand that manufacturing defects exist. Uh, it can't be perfect. But then again, like I said, this isn't a cheap pair of shoe. With that, I shall end my video. But please stay on as usual for some on-fit footage. And until the next episode, you guys take care. Peace.